We did it! No sacrifices today. That is Charon. And then we get Surf. Now we can get some more encounters. Let's go. Okay, yeah, this is Route 18 or 17? Oh, because I got to get through this. Okay, that's right. Um, Go to Route 17. Do I get an encounter in Route 17? Route 17. I think it's probably just Frillish, right? Frillish. Yeah, so we can get Frillish here. Like that should that should be fine. Okay, this is our encounter. Frillish, male Frillish. Ooh, it's level five. I'm not even going to worry about it. We're just gonna net ball and we're gonna catch it on the first try because it's level five. I have no idea what Mavis Beacon is, by the way. Their pickle. Genuinely no clue. <laughs> All right, Calamari coming up. I have to remember how to spell Calamari. Cal. Uh. I think that's how you spell it. Frog legs. Oh, would you like some legs made of frog? Okay. Let's see, there's three people in here, it says, right? Oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong route. In the house, there are two treasure hunters. In black and white, a Pokemon Ranger in the house will give you a Larvista egg. Because my party's full. Ah! So let's check out the Frillish. Ooh. Not looking at the stats. I'm not looking at the stats. Okay, so he goes in here. Okay, so someone needs to come out. It'll probably just be him. We're gonna give this the Eviolite. Okay, now we're gonna look at this Calamari. <sighs> okay, Calamari. Docile nature. Water absorb. Restores HP if hit by a water move. That is so good. It's a neutral nature, which is whatever, but water absorb is it. That means we basically have on a water a water immunity. So at this point, uh, we have between, there are a couple guys that we have some immunities to. Um, like obviously we have a ghost immunity for our normal types. Uh, Scraggy is a dark type and has an immunity to uh, has an immunity to uh what is it called psychic oh my god uh so our normal types our normal types are immune to ghost our this guy is because of flash fire is immune to fire and is immune to normal and fighting because it's a ghost type um anybody else immune to any this would be immune to or sorry our steel type is immune to poison I had it backwards. And then also now we have an immune to water. That's super good. So we got our egg. 225 steps ish, but it depends on how uh, there's like different egg cycles that eggs can have and so this one could be like 450 I think so we just got to do this like 10 more times ish two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, one, come on, two, 
Three. Four. Five. Here we go. Our encounter. That's which we got the egg from Route 18 and we're hatching it in Acclum... Uh, what are we hatching it in? Acclumola Town. It's Larvesta! Okay. What does the Larvesta remind you of? This is the Torch Pokemon. It's basically a fire bug. So I'm thinking something spicy. Tabasco, I'm down. <gasps> Ooh, wait. What's that? It was, uh... Kahlua? Kahlua hot sauce? We could name it Kahlua. It's better than Tabasco, and it's still a hot sauce. How about Kahlua? It's also, I think, more feminine name. <laughs> Let's do that. That's how I'm compromising with you, Andrew. Let's go. Kahlua, good name. I like your Tabasco. It was a good thought. C-H-O-L-U-L-A. Kalula. Kalula. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Kalula. Cho, Lu, La. Cho, Lu, La. That's how you spell that, right? Okay. Cho, Lu, La. Not crazy. Welcome to the squad, Cholula. Okay, now let's check out the Cholula stats. Level one. Adamant? That seems not good. Wait, or is that extremely good? Okay, it's got high attack. Nice. So that's good. The question is, does it get moves that reflect that? It's got Flare Blitz. And then it can also learn Bug Bite. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. This is pretty good. Nice. Does it get any other good? Uh, X Scissors, I think. Oh, it can get U-Turn! <gasps> when do we get U-Turn? When do we get U-Turn? 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 U-U-U-U-U? You, 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 you. Route 13. Oh, that's in the post game. Ugh. Greatest weakness is milk. Uh, yeah, Cholula, adamant nature is great, by the way. This thing rocks. Okay. So we're now inside. Our only encounter here that should be viable is Woobat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to Durian. We're gonna give this the smoke ball. We're gonna give this the smoke ball. Cub Chew, I already have one. So it's dupe. Ground gem, cool. Girder, not cool. Boldor, less cool. Wu-Tang Clan. There we go. Finally got the Wu Bat. Took me a second. Easy. 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 So easy. The Wu Diddy Bat. Okay. What food does Wu Bat remind you of? <laughs> it's a bat. Coronavirus? I did think coronavirus for a second. I did, did think Corona Extra or Corona. Corona? Because <laughs> you can drink Corona. We could just do Lucky Charm, though. That's like got marshmallows, and that's like the charm specifically. It has got the heart on it, because there's a heart charm. Let's do that. COVID, yeah. We're, we're not going to do We're not going to do that. <laughs> L-U-C-K-Y- C H A R M Lucky Charm And we're back at Twist Mountain. Oh, yes. So this this regards the controversy. I think this will Oh gosh, name of Pokemon Bricks. Um well we'll see. So 
the controversy. Uh, let's see. We caught... The end of last stream, we caught all of our encounters that are basically ready before Gym 7. We got our Twist Mountain, we got our Driftville City Frillish, and we got some other guys that I'll show you. I don't even know if I have any of them out. Nope. They are in the box. So we're going to have to go back. So this is this is the controversy, Kelly May, okay? I am big stupid and totally forgot after streaming for three hours that that's what we were doing. However, however, we are correcting this mistake. That is the first thing that we are committing to today is we are naming the boy Cheese. Boy? I don't remember if it's a male or a female Woobat, but we're doing that. That's the first thing. What is the thing? Where is my super pal? Yes, we're getting justice for cheese. And in all fairness, I'm the one that did the bad to get him to need justice. So, you know, classic streamer moment, <laughs> I guess. We're getting justice for cheese. I will promise this today. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the not cheese. So this is our not cheese that will be named cheese. I named it Lucky Charm because honestly, that's a really good name, guys. So we are going to switch to cheese, but I would just like it to be known that Lucky Charm is a great name for a Woobat because it's got the little heart stamp nose, just like the little heart mushrooms, mushrooms, marshmallows of that. But yeah, we basically ended this Pokemon can't use held items. What a piece of cheese, huh? That is probably the that is actually one of the worst abilities. <laughs> is that the only ability it can have? No, it could have unaware. Foe's stat modifications are ignored. That would have been way better. Instead, it sucks. <laughs> are you having an embolism? Only partially. Only partially. Also, good reminder, right at the beginning of the video. Oh, that's fireworks. I just meant the like button. I just wanted you guys to hit the like button. Um, I'm assuming you're all subscribed. I'm pretty sure you all are. But hit that like button. Helps other people find it. I appreciate you all. Anyway. Um, wow, this thing sucks. Uh, <laughs> okay. Where is this name raider? That is what I need to remember. I think he's here? No, I think he's at the top. He's in one of these ones. It's like an old guy? Nope. This one? No. This guy, okay. Yes, rate my lucky charm. It's a very, it is a very me sort of name, but we can change it. Cause we, we do justice for cheese. Oh shit, I gotta hide the HUD. Hide HUD? Upper. C. H. There you go. Okay, what, this guy's a trainer. I'm like super positive. Nugget. I'm pretty sure that sand pile's a trainer. Nope. What are these? Are these sand piles even anything? Am I getting gaslit right now by myself? I feel like I'm very possibly doing that. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, they are trainers. I feel like this is an Excadrill guy, <laughs> which is a little scary. So there's that. Bum, bum, bum. Oh no. Yep, this is the bad man. This is an Excadrill with Horn Drill. So that's where we're at right now. Um, Hone Claws, Slash, Rock Slide, and Horn Drill. Hey, Cheese Man, how's it going? Happy Friday. Streamer Man almost goofed. Oh, except who is here but little bro to teach big bro a lesson, okay? Listen. This ground beef is the best ground beef you've ever done seen. Okay? Easy. Easy. Not even a thought. 
All right, boys and girls. It is time to prep for the gym. Gym prep, gym prep, gym prep, gym prep. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got the ice gym. So I'm pretty sure I mostly, <laughs> funnily enough, um, basically prepped for this with the thumbnail that I created for today. Uh, which, if I remembered what it was, that would probably be good. Oh my gosh, this thing is hella more powerful. Okay, give me a couple seconds. I'm gonna step into the gym, and then I'm gonna go see if my wife needs a hand, because it sounds like my son is screaming. So I'm gonna be back. I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> Alright, we're back. My son fell over and hit his face. Ooh, new. Yo, what's up, uh, Jarstar? Welcome to the stream. Love to see new face around here. Um, how did you decide on black and white for the Little Lock? Have you ever done slash attempted ones on different versions before? Yes. Uh, excellent question. I love that question. Um, so... I had thought about this. I think I was watching someone do some something competitive, and I was like, why is there no, like I don't see, I have not seen a person attempt a little lock, basically using uh, Smogan's Little Cup, which is only Pokemon that can evolve, but like aren't fully evolved, but, like doing that as a Nuzlocke. And so I went through that and attempted it first with, I think my first attempt with it, this was off stream. I was just like play testing the idea. Um, was was Fire Red in Leaf Green. Um, excellent Nuzlocke starter game, by the way. Just generally speaking, is Fire Red in Leaf Green. So I started there. Um, the Little Lock rules that I choose to use are uh, basically if they can evolve as of that gen they are good to go so for example abra is fine obviously ball like your whatever your starter is all good to go um however also in fire red and leaf green by the time you get to fire red and leaf green scyther is technically a valid encounter hey what's up servant gaming how you doing um doing great i'm hoping you're having a good friday because i'm having a great friday we're just we're about to take on gym seven but what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, Scyther, for example, because it evolves into Scizor, valid encounter in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, even though, technically, in like Gen 1 or whatever, but we're not playing Gen 1, we're playing Gen 3. So, uh, for example, Duraludon in Sword and Shield is not a valid Nuzlocke encounter for a Little Lock, but in Scarlet and Violet, it is because it evolves. <laughs> Oh, well, well, happy future. Uh, happy Saturday. Are you in Australia? Somewhere in Asia? Maybe? One of those places. Um, acid armor, ice beam, light screen, reflect. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, that's basically the thought process through the little lock. So I play tested in Fire Red and Leaf Green, then I play tested in Emerald, and this is the next game I've played. Um, I've never played black and white before, and that's how I decided on black and white for the Little Lock, is that I have never actually played these games. So I decided to introduce it on hard mode, <laughs> is basically what I did. But excellent question, Jarstar. I appreciate that question. Also, thanks, Player Zero. I, we do got this, despite all of the non-believers in chat, apparently. <laughs> I did consider Black and White 2, but it kind of seemed like the follow-up game, you know what I mean? Like, it seemed like a sequel. It seems like there's more more to Black and White after this, and I didn't want to read the second book before the first book. You know what I mean? It seems like more of a sequel, like a proper sequel, as opposed to... Oh my god, this thing is cracked. Um, it seemed like more of a proper sequel than... Uh, I might give this thing the Eevee Light. This thing is ridiculous. Um, 
seemed like more of a proper sequel than any of the other ones, like an Ultra Sun or an Ultra Moon or any of those kinds of things. So that was the thought process, genuinely. So. But I'll probably be putting a poll out for like whatever we want to do is the next thing. It's pretty adventurous to view for your first time. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, I've played Nuzlocks before. I've done hardcore Nuzlocks before, but I've never done a hardcore Little Lock on stream before. So this is helpful in keeping me accountable. Not like I wasn't already doing that, but now that there's an audience of some size, <laughs> it makes it easier, you know? Be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Okay, hold on. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are more like a third that was split into two for the money. Yeah, that seemed a little weird. <laughs> I also didn't really fully enjoy Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I'm not going to lie to you. I just felt like it just didn't feel quite the battle system. Not the battle system, because the battle system was the same. The gyms. Uh oh, did I get stuck? Yep. Oopsie doozies. <laughs> Definitely went the wrong way. Yoink. Um, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Down? Not down. <laughs> Hold on. I sorry. I gotta solve a children's puzzle. Excuse me, while I do this. I goofed it. I super goofed it. Did I goof it? Yep, I goofed it. Goofed it. Goofed it. Goofed it. What is the worst? Ooh, boy. What is the worst? What is the worst? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I guess we're facing this lady next. Um, what is the worst Pokemon region? Man, that's a good question. What does this lady have real quick? Cub Chew and Vanillite. Or Vanillish. Um, worst Pokemon region? Not Hoenn, not Kanto, not four, not five. What was six? X and Y? X and Y, I feel like, is pretty forgettable a little bit. Um, uh, so I'll say that. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I like the concept of the region of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I like the four islands. That is super cool. Always kind of dreamed of like an orange islands. Do you remember that in the anime that where they went to the Orange Islands, where there's like the four different islands that have like the battle types and things? Um, I feel like it could have been cool. It's just the gym, the gym leaders and the totem Pokemon were like not what I was looking for, if you know what I mean. Um, good lord, this thing has got some power. Um, but uh. It's probably X and Y, or, and this might be make people some sort of sad, um, might be Johto a little bit. Um, only because the, I don't know, because the, the regions can be fun. I like the, there's like a lot of, some of the lore in that game is like really good, but like the region is basically just more Kanto. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so Johto might might be on on the list, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. There's I don't know. I honestly, it pro might be X and Y for me. I can't even really remember finishing X and Y. I feel like I did, but it's just, I don't know. It's kind of, it's probably X and Y, which <laughs> doesn't bode well for the upcoming Legends game, uh, ZA, but maybe that'll be fun. I don't know. Excited to see what new Pokemon come out of that. So who knows? Hoenn does have, Hoenn does have way too much water, but it is still almost one of the best regions. Um, it's just like that game is just so consistently good. Aging Blitzel. Uh -huh. No idea what that even means. But I'll take your word for it. Um, let's see. What was your other question? Sorry, that was a, that was a really another good follow-up question. Yes. To my 
Um, oh my god, that didn't kill? Oh, nice! Holy cow! You're on a roll here today, bud! I'm going through, very slowly, a Platinum Nuzlocke on actual hardware. And that can be very tempting to pretend something bad didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, so true. Also, the other thing on actual hardware is you can't hack things in, and honestly, I am like a 30, almost, well, 31, going to be 32-year-old man, uh, with a child, um, and uh, I just do not have time to grind uh, in Pokemon games anymore. It is not enjoyable. Um, <laughs> it's not the fun part about this game for me. So, hacks are great. <laughs> The vicious Pokemon sprays a poisonous liquid on opponents that comes come near. For whatever reason, it gets along really well with Delmize. What is this Pokemon and what game? Is this the is this like Helio Heliodisc? Or yeah, it's Heliolisk or Screlp. Or just Dragalge? Is that what it is? I actually don't remember how do you pronounce that. We're almost at Bryson, guys. This this gym has been like such a cakewalk. Now, what game is it from? Oh, no. Wait, oh, wait, sorry. Is that the dex? Like, which game is Dragalge from? Or Dragalge? Or which, sorry, holy cow. Which game is that from? Or which game is the dex entry from? Not quite sure which question you're asking on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Dex entry. Um, I'm gonna say, can we just say Gen 8? Yeah, I think Gen 8 is probably correct. Servant Gaming asks, what about the worst Pokemon game storyline for you? For me, it's Heart Gold Soul Silver series since the story didn't stand alone without Fire Red or Leaf Green. have to be oh gen 8 sword or shield that's right they have different ones i don't know i let's go let's go shield oh we picked different ones <laughs> classic okay i think we're i think it's gym time or gym leader time it is indeed it's okay Let's go heal. Down the ice bridge. Wee. What? Audio? What? Ha what's happening? The audio fine? Everything's good, right? Oh, Dino. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. I was like, what's happening? We're about to face a gym. I can't have that going. Okay. Okay. Gym time. <laughs> 